officially get to hear. We need to soak this in. Our blessed Heavenly Father, we gather here before you today for the most blessed of all reasons, to join Garrett and Skyler in holy matrimony. Now when I met with them on Zoom a couple weeks ago, I asked them to give me a word that they thought of that they admired about each other. And both of them had the same word for each other. And I don't think it'll surprise anybody here to know that they said about each other that they're inspiring. They inspire one another. I think this room is probably filled with people who've been inspired by Garrett and Skyler's walk with the Lord. Garrett Evans, I am in absolute awe of the Lord's faithfulness and kindness in allowing me to be standing here today. Standing here in front of a man who is entirely more than I could have ever hoped, dreamed, or imagined. A man who has loved me through my darkness and has shown me the grace of God like no other. A man that isn't perfect and never claims to be, but feels like he was perfectly made for me. I cannot believe this day is finally here, a day we talked about only two weeks into knowing each other. My prayer for today and for every day that is to come is that Christ will be glorified. I pray that the heartbeat of our marriage will always be to enjoy God and make him known to all the lives around us. I pray we never forget that the reason we are here today is certainly not a testimony to our greatness, but a testimony alone to God's faithfulness. To be fully known and fully loved by you, Garrett, is the greatest gift God has given me here on this earth. You have taught me more than you'll ever know in the last few years, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life being led by and taught from you. I promise to ultimately, Garrett, be your absolute best friend and always pursue you as Christ pursues us. Scott. I'm an imperfect man. I have so many flaws, insecurities, and struggles, and even still, you've chosen me. You've loved me when I felt I wasn't worthy of love. You've encouraged me when every bit of confidence I had was gone. You've made me laugh when it seemed like all joy was lost, and you've given me grace when I thought I could never be forgiven. I want you to know how blessed and grateful I am for your love and the direct reflection you are of who Christ is. I am so in love with you, Skylar, and cannot wait to glorify the Lord with you through our marriage and make his name known through the love we share. I love you so much. Love brought you together, and what you're going to commit to today in this chapel is that you'll always choose that love your feelings will go all over the place, up and down. But if you choose to love in the highs and the lows, you will see how beautiful happily ever after can be. Choose this love always. Now, it's by the power vested in me through the gospel of Jesus Christ that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now we get to party. Party! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hey. Look at your wife! For the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. David Garrett and Skylar Evans. <laughs> Good evening, 
everybody, and thank you all so much for being here. I can remember the exact picture I saw. It was of Garrett sitting down, like on the edge of a couch, staring off into the distance, and she was so excited to show me. She, she was like, look, this, this boy goes to FAU, and he plays baseball, and he loves Jesus, and I found him on his dad's Twitter. And I don't think it was long after that that she said she was gonna marry him one day. These two people, they influence everyone around them. Um, I'm sure everyone in here has a story of the time that either Skylar or Garrett or as a couple have impacted them. Knowing you two, I know how hard you fight for the people that you love and the fact that you keep Christ at the center of your relationship. I know y'all are gonna have a lifelong marriage full of love, so please raise your glass with me to the newlywed Skylar and Garrett. Grandpa, sure was a nice day today.